Hello friends, welcome back. Grok is a chatbot created by XAI, a company founded by Elon Musk. It's designed to be informative and answer a wide range of questions, similar to other large language models like Mistral. Grok is also known for its rebellious streak and ability to answer questions considered too spicy for other AI systems. It can even access and process information from the X platform, formerly Twitter, to provide more current responses. Grok is recently released as open source and it was a major milestone in the world of large language models LLMs due to its unique characteristics and commitment to open source development. What sets Grok apart? First, unlike many other LLMs, Grok's code and underlying architecture were released as open source. This means anyone with the technical expertise can access, modify, and build upon Grok's foundation. This fosters collaboration and innovation in the field of AI, allowing researchers and developers to push the boundaries of what's possible. Second, Grok boasts a massive size, with 314 billion parameters. This immense scale translates to potentially greater capabilities in areas like text generation, translation, and code comprehension. Here's a timeline of Grok's journey. In July 2023, Elon Musk announced the creation of XAI, a new company focused on AI development. This announcement included the unveiling of Grok, their flagship LLM project. By October 2023, Grok completed its pre-training phase, where it was exposed to a vast amount of text data to learn and develop its abilities. Finally, in March 2024, XAI officially released Grok's architecture and base model weights as open source, making it freely available to the public. But what was the driving of this release? We would say spite. It all started when Musk sued OpenAI this March. Let's see what it was about. Elon Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI, filed in March 2024, is a battle over the organization's soul. Musk, a co-founder of OpenAI, accuses the organization of abandoning its original mission in favor of profit-driven goals. At its core, the lawsuit alleges a shift in priorities. OpenAI was initially established as a non-profit focused on developing safe and beneficial AI for humanity, with a commitment to open-source research. Musk claims that OpenAI strayed from this path, particularly after a major partnership with Microsoft. He argues that OpenAI became beholden to Microsoft's financial interests, prioritizing short-term gains over the long-term ethical considerations of AI development. Additionally, Musk criticizes the appointment of a new board that he believes lacks expertise in AI safety and prioritizes profit over ethical considerations. Legally, the lawsuit rests on three main claims. One, Musk alleges a breach of contract, arguing that OpenAI violated its founding agreements with its founders, including himself. Two, the lawsuit claims a breach of fiduciary duty, suggesting that OpenAI leadership failed to act in the organization's best interests by allegedly prioritizing Microsoft's interests. Three, there are potential claims of unfair business practices, suggesting that OpenAI's partnership with Microsoft is unethical or deceptive. The potential outcomes of the lawsuit are significant. A successful lawsuit could force OpenAI to become more transparent and return to its original goals of open source, ethical AI development. It could also result in financial penalties for OpenAI or force changes to its business model. The court might even influence the composition or power dynamics of OpenAI's leadership. Currently, OpenAI denies the core allegations of the lawsuit, but has not publicly addressed specific details. They maintain their commitment to responsible AI development. The legal battle is ongoing, and the specifics of the case and potential evidence haven't been made public yet. Ultimately, the outcome of this lawsuit could have a major impact on the future of AI development and the balance between profit and ethical considerations in this rapidly evolving field. Now that the lawsuit is out of the way, let's see what Grok is and where to find it. On March 11th, Elon Musk said that this week he's going to open source Grok and it actually happened. On March 17th, they released the weights of Grok 1, the LLM that is powering chats on the X platform, but just like Mistral AI, they released the weights as a torrent file. The model itself is much bigger than expected. It is a 314 billion parameter mixture of expert model, and the model released is only the pre-trained model. So this is the base model which was trained in October 2023. It's not the fine-tuned version, which means it will be completely uncensored, and it's released under Apache 2.0, so you can use this for commercial purposes. 
Here's a quick summary of the technical details provided by Andre on X. It's 314 billion parameter model. It's an NO8E, and for each token, only two experts out of the eight experts are active. So that means for each token, there are going to be around 86 billion parameters that are going to be active. It has 64 layers and 48 attention heads for queries, eight attention heads for keys or values. The internal embedding size is 6,144, and it's using the rotary embeddings, so it's using rope. The tokenizer that this model is using is very similar in size to GPT-4, and it seems to have support for 8-bit quantization as well as activation sharing. The max sequence length or the context window is about 8,000 tokens. This means it is a humongous model, so to download the model, you will need around 300 GB of storage space. Now, regular GPUs cannot run this model locally, so in order to run this in 4 bits, you will likely need around 320 GB of VRAM, and in order to run this in 8-bit, you will need DGX H100, which has 8 H100s and each one of them has 80 GB of VRAM. If you have that kind of hardware and want to run it, you can do that too, as they release a GitHub repo. In this case, they provided a JAX example, so first you need to clone the repo and then run. PIP space install space hyphen r requirements.txt. This will download all the required packages. You need to make sure to put everything in this checkpoint directory, so you will need to download the weights of the model, and then you can run the python run.py file, so you have everything that you need to run the model. Are you wondering whether it's worth downloading or not? Here are four benchmarks, the GSM8K, MMLU, Humanival, and Math. This Grok-1 model is better than the l Llama 270 b model in almost all the benchmarks and is also better than GPT-3.5, so it is a capable model. Grok's release has sparked a variety of reactions. Transparency advocates see it as a positive step towards making powerful AI technology more accessible and accelerating advancements in the field. However, some experts raise concerns about the potential misuse of such a powerful tool in open hands. The fear is that Grok could be used to create and spread misinformation or generate biased outputs. Additionally, Grok's release is seen as a direct challenge to OpenAI's dominance in the LLM space, potentially leading to a more competitive landscape that drives faster innovation and development across the board. Overall, Grok's release represents a significant development in the LLM race. Its open source nature and massive scale hold the potential for major advancements in AI capabilities. However, questions remain about Grok's responsible development and its potential impact on society. Careful consideration and safeguards will be crucial to ensure Grok is used for positive purposes. That brings us to the end. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to know how the world is changing with the advent of AI, subscribe AI Surge for more exclusive content. And for more daily AI updates and go visit our website AISurge.net. Thank you very much.